the Denmark players England must be wary of in Euro 2020 semi-final. England are set to play in their first semi-final at a European Championship since 1996, and they'll be facing Denmark for a place in the showpiece event. The three Lions have already conquered Croatia, the Czech Republic, Germany, and Ukraine at Euro 2020, ignore what happened in the second group game, and they are one win away from their first major final in 55 years. Standing in their way are Kasper Jolman's Denmark, who have emerged as the real dark horses of this tournament and have been backed by fans all over the globe following Christian Eriksen's collapse in the first round of games. The spirit the Rod Veidt have shown since has been admirable. Who are the key players England are going to have to look out for? 90 Min has you covered, part of 90 Min's are 21, Damsgaard has burst onto the international scene at this tournament. He has effectively replaced Eriksen in the starting lineup and has put in performances the Inter midfielder would be very proud of. The Sampdoria man opened the scoring in Denmark's crucial group stage win over Russia with a rocket from range and ever since has been a nuisance between the lines and in the half spaces. Damsgaard is a special player capable of creating something out of nothing and England are going to need to keep him quiet at Wembley. It feels like a long time since 23-year-old Kasper Dolberg first announced himself in Europe with Ajax. Now plying his trade with French side Nice, the striker has had a quiet couple of seasons but is experiencing a renaissance at Euro 2020. He currently has three goals to his name, with all of them coming in the knockout stages, a curling distance from range followed by a close range header against Wales, and an emphatic poacher's finish against the Czech Republic. With a great touch to go with his considerable height, Dolberg will be handful for England's centre backs and represents the best chance of Denmark becoming the first team to score against them this tournament. Don't let the strange circumstances surrounding his transfer to Barcelona last year and poor spell at Middlesbrough fool you, Martin Braithwaite is a serious player who has caused trouble all tournament long. While traditionally a number nine, Braithwaite has almost exclusively featured on the wing at Euro 2020, harrying full backs and using his pace to stretch play. He's a direct threat in behind and will be on the lookout for space to exploit on Wednesday. At this point a lock to make team of the tournament, Atalanta wing-back Joachim Mel has been by far and away one of the most exciting players to watch this summer. He is already stolen the show in two of Denmark's three wins this tournament, with a huge goal against Russia and a phenomenal outside of the boot assist for Dolberg in the quarter-finals. Even then, he scored in their other win against Wales capable of playing down either flank, Mel is one of few Danish players who would probably sneak into a combined zie between these nations. He's that good. While RB Leipzig striker Josef Polsen lost his place in the starting side at Dolberg due to injury, he'll almost certainly be Jolman's first man off the bench on Wednesday, regardless of what state the game is in. Polsen has a Marouane Fellaini like influence on a match from the bench, capable of playing as a target man, a support striker, someone to run in behind or hold up and bring others into play. He's not usually the man relied on to score the important goals, but Polsen will always have an influence in a game one way or another.